What is up, my Squirtalites? It is I, your king, welcoming you back to more Let's Play Destiny. In the last episode, we pretty much took care of everything we needed to do on the moon, patrol-wise, region chests, lost dead ghosts, roaming nightmares, things along those lines. And I actually finished the episode by taking care of an altar of sorrow, which the reward I got was another blasphemer. And this one has much better perks than the other one I had. I mean, pretty much anything was going to be better than hip fire grip and moving targets. But this time I got dual loader and sword swashbuckler now the mag and the barrel perks not a huge fan but these two perks alone make this a whole better situation than what we had before so dual loader reloads two shells at a time like it says and reduces reload speed um so basically every single time your character does the animation of knocking a shell it gives you two rounds instead of just one really helpful not only just for reloading faster but also in emergency situations where it's better to have two shells instead of just one to quickly reload and kill something if it is bearing down on you swashbuckler is a straight up damage perk and a very good one at that especially for shotguns for every kill you get on it it goes up by increments of one all the way up to a stack of five in terms of a damage boost and this will last for however long you're able to keep it going by killing more enemies however if you get a melee kill while running with this weapon it immediately pushes your stacks up to times five so you get a melee kill and then you can immediately follow up with vastly increased damage on this weapon i want to say a five times stack is like a 35 percent damage increase which is pretty substantial so pretty darn good puck to have with shotguns in close quarters Etc. Today, guys, we are going to be taking on Nightmare Hunts. And it's a little bit complicated because we can't do all of the Nightmare Hunts today. Not all of the ones that I want to do, unfortunately. And that is because Nightmare Hunts rotate on a weekly basis. They are now exclusively matchmade activities, uh, three-man matchmade activities, and they do not behave in exactly the same way that they did in the campaign. But the actual mission structure is the same as they were in the actual campaign, which means that we do not have to worry about the nightmares of Omnigal, Skolas, Tanix, and Fogoth. All that remains are the nightmares of Zydron, Fickrel, Dominus Gaul, and Crota. Here's the thing, though. We already did kind of fight Crota, Dominus Gaul, and the Fanatic, which is Fickrel in the final mission of the campaign, but it doesn't behave quite the same because those were sort of manifestations of the missions in which we fought them in previously. These nightmare hunts only ever take place in locations on the moon, which means that they've got a bit different mechanics, they behave a bit differently, etc. And uh, that's why we're still going to check them out. And obviously, Zydron, the Nightmare of Zydron, we haven't seen at all. Luckily, we have two of the four that we're going to be doing uh, available to us this week. We got Crota here. Fanatic here. We're going to not worry about the Fog uh, with Fogoth. Let's start with Nightmare of the Fanatic. Now, it says equip Dreambane armor mods to enhance your power within this mission. I have Dreambane armor in four of my five slots today to make this hopefully a little bit easier for myself. can also equip a couple other mods to make my time a bit simpler here. But if you look really quickly, we actually have Dreambane mod reduces the damage you take from Nightmare Hunt bosses. I'm going to be equipping this on every single one of my armor pieces going into this. Now, there's a very good chance that we actually don't match make with anybody going into this mission because Nightmare Hunts were a lot more popular, obviously, back when Shadowkeep actually came out. They actually had relevant rewards. They were part of the triumphs and the, and the missions therein, and they were part of getting the title, the Harbinger title, which was the relevant title back then, and nowadays, not so much. People kind of don't bother with Nightmare Hunts anymore simply because they don't really give rewards. If anything, people are only ever in here either uh, through the Master and Legend difficulties to get d like the Harbinger title done and things along those lines, and or to get really easy champion kills, or they're just in here to check it out and see what the heck is going on. So there's a very good chance we're going to be running this entire thing completely solo, which is uh, fun, because these are not easy. Uh, I'm not saying they're hard, but they're certainly not total pushovers at this level, because they do have basically the same difficulty options as like a Nightfall the Ordeal, for instance. So... Let's head on in here and get this done. Can I summon my sparrow out here? I do believe I can. Let's go. So we're gonna to wanna to head down here, and if I remember correctly, this nightmare hunt takes us all the way down to where the Shrine of Oryx is. And if you don't remember the Shrine of Oryx, and also we've got a nightmare acolyte like immediately. If you don't remember the Shrine of Oryx, the Shrine of Oryx was an old mission from Destiny 1 
that uh, involved us killing a big knight. It was this giant glowing ball that was kind of floating on top of this pedestal. And uh, it, uh, it, I mean, it was a very simple mission from the early campaign, but this is in the same location as that. So the only one I'm extremely worried about for Nightmare Hunts is actually the Nightmare of Crota for doing it solo because the Nightmare of Crota solo is a pain in the neck, an absolute pain in the neck because it's very easy to die under very stupid circumstances when doing that one. So we're just going to kind of work our way through this. We're definitely only going to be doing one per episode just because of how long these take. So bear with me here. The nightmares themselves are going to be the most obnoxious things to deal with. Okay, hold on. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's do that really quickly and hit them. Hit that guy with the shotgun real fast so we can kill these guys. Oh, come on. Land my headshots. There we go. I'm going to have to rely on healing quite a bit. All right, for this guy, as I drop that in there, let's just get rain hellfire down. Deathbringer is going to be really, 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 really useful for me here as I do this uh, mission. Let's see if I can't kill you. Almost got you. Get out of here. Thank you. And you are so almost dead. Come on. Thank you. All right, let's keep going. So we're heading left. We're heading left. And this is all at 1510, which is not too far below our current power level. I don't want to have to rely on Deathbringer too much here. Honestly, I I would like to have Layman Arc, but I'm going to need Deathbringer for the boss. I know I am. Like, I really wish I could use... Uh, Deathbringer, it would be awesome. He is jolted. Can I hit him again? Thank you. Come on, let me get that quickly. Kill him so we can reset our amplification. Good, 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 good. Are you another nightmare? You are. All right, I'm going to dodge out of the way just to heal really quickly. Okay, he is going to be fun to deal with. Are you just a regular enemy? You are. Okay, I can kill you outright. Same with you. Got to pick your battles one at a time, and these guys hurt a lot. The Dreambane mods that I got are only really good for the boss itself, not so much for the standard enemies. And this is going to get really fun because I know when we get into the last section, there's going to be shielded enemies of a shield type I believe I don't even have. So, back then, Nightmare Hunts, you could get like powerful gear and even pinnacle drops from doing these on Master and getting a certain number of score, but now the score is kind of just for show. There's the room we need to go into. One area at a time and you can see here we actually have some of you know what? actually really quickly do i have enough energy that i can equip no nope, it doesn't look like it i was gonna i would like to get the oh gosh hold on hold on a moment i would like to get the uh rocket launcher scavenger mod or or yeah no yeah it is the scavenger mod but i don't think i'm gonna be able to uh, find space for that so unfortunately that'll have to just pass Oh, man, if I if I had Layman Arc right now, this would be so much simpler killing these higher level enemies. There we go. There is a big ogre over there. We got to watch out for him. So let's just uh, hang tight here. I'm also going to save my super for the boss as well. I'm going to try to use as little as I have to for this. Is he just a standard ogre? I think he is. Let's do that. Okay, he's he's got his beam focused on me pretty good, though. Definitely hit him from here and do a fair bit of damage. Let me do this really quickly. See if I can't. Did I even get anything with that? I don't know if I did. I'm going to fire another one down that way, and hopefully that clears a bit of the room. There we go. Ogre's gone at least, so that won't continue to shoot at me. Come here, you. I dropped heavy, which actually works out great in my favor. Hold on. There are so many of these yellow health bar... Brawl. Maybe if I can just get up to combination blow times three, that'll help me out a lot. So let's keep going. An unstable essence gives you a buff to the damage that you do to nightmares, so keep that in mind. Can I get you? Thank you. And then actually, I am willing to, if I can hit you, there we go, kill him outright. That actually worked out great in my favor. And now's the last room. So I need to be very careful with the shotgun ammo that I use here. Okay, hold on. Kill all those screebs because now we're dealing with uh, scorn, which is always fun. But I think we're good. All right, here we go. This is going to be enjoyable. Where is the actual boss himself? He's probably around on the other side. There he is. 
Hello, Fickrel. Here we go. All right, I'm going to start this out by instantly hitting him with the super. Although, maybe I was a little too quick on that because now... Oh, oh there we go. There we go. It killed some Nightmare Stalkers. I'm not going to complain about that. Gets his health down to a, a point where... What? Can I not walk in here, apparently? Oh, I, I apparently can't go one way, but I don't know what's going on with that. That seems a little bit strange. All right, let's dodge out of that because that's going to hurt very badly if I take too much damage from that. Let's see here. Okay, let's... I'm going to hit those guys with all the damage that I can muster. And if you remember correctly, this is the same location as one of the strikes from Destiny 1 that I can't remember. I always forget the name of it. Um... It was the other... It was the big hive guy that would, like, shoot out blobs and things like that. Okay, hold on a moment. I'm going to do this just to kind of clear all of them. And then there we go. Okay, the, you got to watch out for his arc shots. They hurt a lot. So I'm going to use... Well, I was going to use that, but I don't think it actually did any damage to him. Okay, you, come here, please. Where are you at? I just need to sneak in some headshots. Thank you. Okay, now he's vulnerable. So let's do that. I've got times i got five rounds to use here and i would like to okay i don't want to shoot it too high because i would still like for them to collect down on top of them this is what i mean about the catalyst being necessary for this because it does actually help quite a bit for making sure that those orbs all go in the same place why does it okay it is inside here is really bizarre i don't know what the hitboxes are with that and what's going on there but it's very strange i'm gonna do this really quickly see if I can't get a little bit of damage going here and then for the rest if I can hit you all let me do that really quickly come on come on melee please thank you do it again there we go there we go there we go oh gosh oh gosh oh that's not who I wanted to hit ah son of a gun okay trying to stay alive in this is going to be really freaking hard oh it does actually kind of make me wish I had maybe I can do this I think I am going to do this. Even though I don't have any special ammo on hand, I think I'm going to actually try to make this work. Luckily, I've already almost got my super back. All right, spawn in, buddy. And I'm going to try to not do this before he is no longer vulnerable. So let me kill you really quickly. Get a little bit of special ammo so that I can actually have ways of dealing with the solar shields. Thank you. Okay, hold on a moment. You need to go away immediately. Go away. Go away. There we go. Hit him with this. Keep punching him. Thank you. Get that going. All right. Where are you at, Fnatic? Have that. Hopefully that is some pretty good damage. Eh, it's strong enough. can kind of hit him with these and just avoid all of his shots if I move out of the way in time. Like so. I might just... I think I'm just going to try to get him to spawn his next... Of course, the second I fire that. That is such a dick move. He had all this time, and he never freaking did it. Okay, hold on a moment. Okay, there's that damage. I will take it. It's something. I now have a super at the very least. If I can get more special, that would be great. Ow! Gosh, I hate those freaking grenades. Okay, go on. Why is it? Ah! I swear, it's supposed to box you in, but it doesn't actually work all the way properly. And, oh, it's really, really weird, the hitboxes in that area. Get out of that, before, because if I get caught in that, that's a lot of damage really, really fast. Please die. Thank you. Thank you for dropping all that special, too. I will take all of that. That is so much special. Okay. That should keep me chip, uh, chipper for a while. Hit him directly. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to go back through here. Even though it really doesn't want me to go this way. He is going to probably put his shield up here in a second. Uh, just about. Any second now. Yep, he is spawning enemies in. There it is. Okay, so now we can start actually dealing damage here. So we got Void. Oh, this is going to be fun. What's up? Uh, I'm going to just outright kill you. I keep forgetting I have Incandescent on this thing, which is nice. Kill those guys. I'm going to go back through here. Yeah, you really got to, like, make use of this space while you're in here. There we go. There's the damage I like to see. All right. So now if I can just don't freaking hide. Hit that crystal. Thank you very much. What? He did it again. Are you kidding me? That's just a jerk move. Well, luckily I can if I'm very vigilant about it. 
just do all sorts of damage here. As long as I get rid of those nightmare guys, I'm mostly golden. Although, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, I'm going down here. I'm going down here. I'm going down here. Run! There we go. I'm not going to go all the way up, though. Uh, are they going to chase me? Yes, they are. I had a feeling. And now... Oh, this is going to be fun. How did that not do anything? I was able to get more special out of that, thank goodness. Move, 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 move! Move! Okay, I'm being chased. Keep hitting this guy. Shotgun him. No, get out of here. Jeez, they won't die. Got him. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to him in time because I did too much damage. But maybe, possibly. Okay, there we go. I mean, I don't want to run up and try to boss stomp him because that's just not going to work out in my favor. I'm going to kind of dodge over here. Hopefully, I don't get stuck over here. But if I can keep hitting him, and I am not getting lucky getting any power ammo for this whole thing. Slide under that. Luckily, he goes into, like, a summoning animation while he does that. I'm going to see if I can bait him into doing it one more time. And then I'm going to try to rush up and shotgun him while he does it. Because he can't boss stomp while he's in the middle of the animation. So it actually will work heavily in my favor. But I don't want to be too hasty about it. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Got him. Okay, Nightmare Hunter done. We even got a pulse rifle for our troubles, a world drop, but still something no less. And that is the Nightmare of the Fanatic. Nothing to say about it? Okay, I thought we were going to get some dialogue. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Destiny. Thank you all so very much for watching. Next episode, we're going to go after the Nightmare of Crota. Hope you're all looking forward to that, and I will see you all in the next one.